Hey guys, how you doing? Let me show you right here what I have. I actually have a very, very long single piece of rope. And the thing about the single piece of rope, it's hard to do tricks with a regular single piece of rope like so. So here's what we're going to do. I'm actually going to take a single piece of rope right here. And as you can see, I'm actually going to well, actually just cut it in half like so. So now we have two long strands of rope right here. Okay. And what we'll do right here is I'll take the rope, we'll tie them together just like that. So now we have two ropes, we cut it in half, and now we have a couple strands of rope that are tied together. So I'm actually just going to trim this away a little more here, because I'm not too big. And we got the rope knotted together right here. I'm actually just going to take him, and we'll just, here I'll tell you what, let's, let's wrap him around the fist like so. We'll grab my scissors, as you can see, we'll give him a little tap, just like that. And just like that, the rope has magically restored itself to one single solid piece. Okay guys, well, let's see how this is done right here. Uh, it's a very deceptive, nice trick. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a single piece of rope like so. Okay, and you're going to hold it like this. You're going to hold it with the two ends, bring them together so that way you have the loop here right in the middle of the rope at the bottom. And what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to grab the loop from the inside with these two fingers like so. And get a little closer so you can see. And when you bring them up, what you're going to do, instead of bringing them up like this is what people are thinking that you're doing, you're going to bring it up, you're going to grab this part of the rope which is going to be on your right side, make sure you can see and you're going to bring him up and loop him up like this. So that way the loop is actually connected to one of the ends right here. So that way whenever you whenever you cut this and as you can see you're not actually cutting the loop at the end you're actually just cutting these two pieces right here. So what you'll do is you'll let the other two pieces drop and then you'll be left holding this right here and this right here will be concealing this with the hand like so. And all you're going to do is just tie this together and from the front view it looks like I'm holding two pieces of rope because you actually take them and you'll tie these you'll tie this small little piece of rope that you have right here you're going to tie it together just tie it in a regular knot being that it worked out pretty small this time, it should be okay. So now when you look at it, it looks like you just tied the two pieces of rope that you just cut. It looks like you just tied them together like so. And what you're going to do right here is you're just going to wrap it around the hand. And with this right here, this is going to slide off now. You're just going to wrap it around, act like you're grabbing the knot. Slide it off. And then you'll pick up your pair of scissors and just give them a little wave. And then if you put your scissors away, put them in your pocket, you can just, you can ditch that knot. You can ditch the knot like so, and then all you have to do is just unravel, and you have one solid piece of rope again. It's a great trick, guys. I love this trick. And I'll tell you what, it's completely impromptu. You just need a piece of rope. And if you don't have a piece of rope, uh, you can do it with like a shoelace or something like that. It works equally as well. Okay, guys? can't do that. Twirl it around. Woo, look at me. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Till next time.